Hello, my bull gang. How are you guys doing, Taurus? Thank you for tuning the freak in. Hope you guys, you know, enjoyed your Thanksgiving for those of you who are in the U.S., okay? Hopefully, Taurus, I know a lot of Taurians who really can freaking cook and throw down. I hope you have not been feeding the lunatics, Taurus, okay? You know they're going to come back like strays. They're going to keep showing up at your doorstep, you know, begging and shit. You don't want that, right? <laughs> Anyway, Taurus, you guys know this is going to be another general reading. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest, right? There's going to be a lot of Taurus watching this, okay? Um, cross watchers, Taurus placements, take what resonates for your situation and leave the rest. If you do, if you do need a personal reading, do check uh, my website. I am open and available, okay? Um, if you feel like it doesn't resonate at all, right? Which is very rare. <laughs> Do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs, okay? Also, Taurus, um, please do not forget to just hit the like button for me, please. It does really help us creators to get our content out there for it to be seen. So just liking really does help us so much. So I really appreciate those of you who always like the video, okay? So this is for you, Taurus. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements and Taurus, okay? What is coming towards the Taurus in love? What do we have? What is coming towards Taurus in love, please? Taurus. What is coming towards Taurus in love? What is coming towards Taurus? Oh, a lot of cards are falling out, guys. Okay. So we got unspoken truth. <laughs> so someone has to speak their truth. Maybe they haven't told you yet, but maybe they will. Because something has been unspoken, Taurus. Speak the truth. Speak your mind. Okay. <laughs> you have final moves. So someone may make their final move to be with someone or to speak their mind or to, you know, speak, talk about their feelings. Okay. And then you have magnetic connection. So, I mean, this is definitely a magnetic connection to us. Okay. You feel it. They feel it. is coming towards Taurus and love please Taurus Taurus <laughs> oh you guys see that <laughs> that's just blue and freak out soulmate yeah you're definitely dealing with a soulmate um Taurus your soulmate loves accepts and respects you unconditionally you're dealing with a soulmate a twin flame but bottom line there's a past life connection someone's in a lot of regret Taurus someone feels remorse for the way they treated you okay um Bottom of the deck, you have past life love. Yeah, past life love. New love, maybe someone wants new love with you or this could be a new person for some of you and you feel like you've met them before. And yeah, you did, Taurus. You met them in a whole nother lifetime, okay? <laughs> All right, you met them in a past life. Maybe you're with a Gemini. What is coming towards Taurus? In love. Is this this for Taurus? <clears throat> This is for Taurus. Oh. Taurus, you may have a Pisces moon, rising, Venus. This person may have Pisces in their chart. You may be dealing with a Pisces, okay? What is the overall love energy for Taurus? The three of cups in the reverse, okay? I hate to say it, this may have been a love triangle, Taurus, okay? Um... But someone wants more. Someone doesn't want to be friends. This could be also, you know, someone that you've been friends with and they want more. They don't want to just be friends with you. Maybe they believe they led you. Why can't I talk today? Um, maybe they've led you to believe that they just want a friendship with you. That is a lie. They lied. <laughs> they lied. The motherfucker lied. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, or if this is a third party, someone's ready to make the final move to, you know, freaking be with who, you know, whoever they choose, right? Okay. Maybe this is someone for some of you that you dated short term. Okay. What is coming towards Taurus? I love Taurus. Justice. You may be dealing with a Libra. What's coming towards Taurus? I love. But someone is definitely ready to speak their truth. What is coming towards Taurus? I love. Um, somebody wants to speak their mind here. 
somebody maybe want to put a label on what you guys have together like listen you mom, motherfucker. <laughs> you guys know how you know taurus could be you know just a little possessive this is mine not controlling but possessive you're mine or this person maybe you're dealing with another taurus but they feel like you're mine taurus okay what is coming towards taurus in love what else do you have for taurus in love what is coming okay you got the three of wands somebody's waiting for an answer here somebody's waiting to hear from the other person you know what are we doing here judgment maybe you don't want a scorpio so so far scorpio you have libra what is coming towards taurus in love can i have one more card for taurus in love what is coming to taurus in love oh okay all right just give me one spirit all right <laughs> What is coming towards Taurus in love? Can I have one more card, please? Taurus, what is coming towards Taurus in love? The two of wands. Yeah, Taurus. Um, some of you, you know, this person definitely feels like you're the right person for them. Justice, you know, could be a case of someone feeling like, listen, Taurus is it. Taurus meets my standards. Taurus is, you know, everything that I want. Ten of cups. But bottom line, you know, Somebody sees a very vivid and happy future with you, okay? Um, they feel like you're their soulmate and that you guys could just be so happy together. And they're thinking about, they're already thinking um, about baby names, <laughs> okay, Taurus. They're already planning the wedding in their mind. They're already thinking about what the hell they're going to do with you, okay? And this is what they want, you know? Somebody wants, may even propose marriage, right? Somebody wants to marry you. You want to marry this person, okay? Um, someone has already made up their mind as to what they're going to do, okay? Judgment tells me that there's already been a decision made here. You may not know it, but they're probably going to tell you very soon. Listen, I've made up my mind. This is it. This is it for me, Taurus. I want to marry you. I want to be with you. Um, as far as you, maybe you have two different paths available to you, right? You may have a new person and a soulmate okay you're trying to figure out what you're gonna do but i think you're gonna go with the soulmate <laughs> okay whoever you feel this deep past life connection with you're gonna go with um some of you if you're in a relationship you're thinking you know what i deserve better i'm not happy where i am it's time to get a divorce it's time to you know speak my truth and head towards the person that i feel like i can see this ten of cups with especially if this person's involved they're going to get a divorce. Justice is here. They're going to divorce. I don't usually say things like that, but they will. Okay. So if someone is waiting here to, to know what's going on, okay, what's going to go on is a commitment. What's going to go on is that they've already chose you, Taurus. Okay. Um, that's, that's it, period. Some of you, you know, maybe they needed to walk away from someone, right? Maybe there was a nasty fight here and they, they just had to walk away. It's the best for the both of us, right? Um, that's what I feel, Taurus, okay? Some of you, maybe this person really cursed you out. If this is your partner, they're not going to like to hear that, okay? Someone's partner may not want to hear that, okay, I'm sorry, but I'm not happy here, okay? <laughs> and they may be with a narcissist, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. The five of coins is in the reverse, exactly. Someone's just going to have to get over it, right? <laughs> um, the three of cups is here in the reverse, yeah. Someone may definitely be in a, live with someone who they're not happy with. There is a lot of insecurity, a lot of instability in that connection. They're not happy. It's not a happy home. They've grown apart from their partner. The lovers is already in the reverse, okay? And it's, it, you know, it sucks, but... I just feel like someone's ready to do what's best for them. They're ready to do what makes them happy. Maybe they've been trying to do what makes the other person happy. Um, but they're thinking about themselves now, Taurus. Someone's thinking about themselves. Like, I care about what the hell I want at this point. I'm sick of trying to make people happy. I'm not freaking happy, right? Um, but yeah, Taurus, it's a magnetic connection. Their final move is to be with you, Taurus. They may regret how they treated you. You may be dealing with someone who may have treated you very coldly, very mean, okay? Maybe this is someone who pushed you away because they were in this negative, pessimistic, asshole energy with the Queen of Swords reverse and the Five of Swords reverse. Just take it how it resonates for your situation. This is a general reading. 
But yeah, they pushed you away and they feel sorry for that. The regret card is here. <laughs> um, for some of you, if that's your story, they're going to come and apologize. They want to set the record straight. They want to bring justice. I'm sorry, Taurus, for the way I treated you, for pushing you away, okay? But I'm ready to do this if you're ready, okay? All right, so let's pull these romantic truths. All right, Taurus, in this love situation. Taurus, in this love situation, what is going on? Maybe someone has insecurity, jealousy. That may have been what pushed you away from them or whatever. But something caused some separation here. Something caused someone to um, just kind of not feel happy here. Okay. But it's saying that it's true love, Taurus. You found, okay, you have found true unconditional love with your partner. I feel like this person loves you no matter what or someone loves the other person no matter what. What else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? What else? I'm just hearing somebody wants to spend the rest of their life with you. That's what I'm hearing. They've made up their mind. <laughs> Maybe this person neglected you, okay? A relationship can only grow if both partners are willing to put in the work. All right, let's see what they have to say for us. Um, keep in mind, any of these messages could be coming from your partner, could be coming from a new person. For those of you who may be dealing with two people, I'm an idiot for losing you. <laughs> yeah. I'm an idiot for losing you. All right, Taurus. What does this person want to tell Taurus? What does this person want to tell Taurus? What does this person want to say to Taurus? What do they want to tell Taurus? For some of you, this person cheated on you. Why am I hearing Sagittarius? Um, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? If they did something seriously, like as in they cheated, they really hurt you, obviously they want you to take them back. They want to, they hope that you can forgive them and you take them back. <laughs> That's what the freak they want. It's different for all of you. Like I said, some of you, I feel like you're dealing with two people, okay? So this person may want to get back together, but then again, you have someone who really is your soulmate, somebody who really would not treat you like that. So it's up to you. They stalk you. <laughs> they regret not choosing you. This may be someone who chose someone else and they feel bad. I just said that. I left for someone else. Okay. What else? What does this person want to tell Taurus? Maybe they chose a karmic or they chose someone, you know chose to stay with a partner where they were not even happy but they because they were settling okay maybe this is your child's father or child's mother they say that they still look at your pictures what else does this person want to say to Taurus what else maybe they were afraid of change <clears throat> they want to get married <laughs> let's get married <laughs> I'm telling you, Ten of Cups, Justice, this person really wants to marry you. They've made their mind up. <laughs> I'm so in love with you. That's what they say, Taurus. What else? They're under your spell, Taurus. Let's work it out, Taurus. It's not over your mind. Didn't I say that in the beginning? <laughs> Taurus, you're the only one I want. What else for Taurus? They know I'm in love with you. People around them, maybe even their partner knows that they're in love with you. It's not a, it's not a secret. Oh, dang. We need to communicate better. What else for Taurus? I cry so much over you. What else for Taurus? <clears throat> you please me so much. Let me get one more for the Taurus. Let's get one more for the Taurus. I'm going to confess my love. That's what they say. They're going to confess their love, confess their feelings, let you know how the freak they're feeling, okay? So let's do some work and career for you really quick to see what's coming. <clears throat> so this person has made their final move, okay? <laughs> Taurus is the one. <laughs> Taurus is the one. Okay. 
Working career for Taurus. What is coming? Working career for Taurus. What is coming? Working career for Taurus. Okay, Taurus. What I'm okay. What I'm seeing already <laughs> is that there's some kind of incompatibility. There's some kind of maybe you're not seeing eye to eye with your employer or with your manager, your boss. You're not you're not feeling very dedicated to what you're doing right now or where you are right now okay um there's some type of problem here with the three of coins in the reverse okay maybe there's some type of new management some type of new rules or something that you're not you're not down with for some of you but um yeah you may get some kind of communication with the page of coins that you don't really like okay um Maybe they may, you may be scolded. I hate to say, but you may be scolded with the eight of coins. They may pull you in and talk to you, okay, about your work or what's going on. Maybe there's criticism in your work, um, but I don't feel like it's like an asshole type of criticism. I think they just want you to do better. They just want you, I don't know how to describe it, guys, okay? Um, but this may come as a shock to you. Maybe you thought that you were doing a great job. Maybe you thought that this, you know, Whatever you've been thinking, they may not be thinking the same thing. So there may be some type of criticism, constructive criticism, and you just need to take it. You just need to take it. Um, I don't think there's anything negative here, really, like they're trying to retaliate or that it's, um, I don't know how to say it, guys. <laughs> but um, that's what I'm seeing here. The tower tells me that there's something about the, your belief about where you stand in your job that may not really be the truth and you may find out the real truth about how they feel about you or your work so there's a need to kind of um maybe put a more focus okay more attention to detail maybe there's a need for you to um just be more cooperative there's a need for you to work with people um or to just improve something okay it's different for all of you some of you if you're looking for a job i do see communication coming in about an opportunity um, and you're going to start work very soon with the eight of coins, okay? Some of you, you may go on an interview and um, you may not get it. You may not get it. I hate to say it, but you may go on an interview, may not get it. They may feel like you're not really qualified or there's some type of issue to where they feel like you may not be a good fit, which is going to bother you. But I do see you starting a better job or starting a job. So either way, you're going to win. It's not a problem, okay? That is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you for tuning in. Love you guys. See you guys next time.